College basketball. You never know what you're going to see on any given night. Corrin answers. It's either been an offensive rebound or crushing contested made three. McLeod for two. The hand McLeod gets it that close to the basket, I think we can just go ahead and make it. Talk about it. That's a guy you've got to put a body on. Double double the last two games for Colin Castleton. That's a big time rebound. Two and a half to play in the first half. The lead is 11, and now make it 14 on Darren Green's fading triple. Knowing the scouting report, this guy, we talked about it last uh, two games, over 60% from the three-point line. And defender, that's in pretty good position. That barely clipped the rim on the corner try from Reeves. Really concerned about getting back, preventing transition. House. This is Darren Green on the lob to Corrin. Good few minutes here on the floor for Leonard Hamilton. The dunk off the lob from Green. Florida State got to be conscious with the ball. Here is Green. That's a long two. Darren Green, Jr.'s second field goal gives him five and the lead seven, Dan. And Green books one from Dean. And Green can do that. For the Seminoles, getting started from beyond the arc, knocking down a... And early on in this season, the answer to that question is no. They have not been able to play the way they want to play. They just don't have enough guys. Nice block. That one rejected by Green out of bounds. Smith couldn't hit. Tip. Edie tips again. And the little point guard comes away with it. And then Waddell gets rejected. You about to bring up that game that we do not talk it. about I around here. There are two games around here we don't talk about. Ooh, Three ball, nice. Darren Green. Over 2,000 points. The Division I leader in free throws. Active leader in free throws as we see Green with the nice move. Now Darren Green Jr. scores for three to gets it right back. That guy is a deadly three-point shooter. He's a guy who does a nice job moving without the ball, gets to the top of the key, gets his feet set, and that's almost automatic. And Green pulls it down ahead of the pack for the other Green, Deontay Green. All those little things add up in games. Backdoor cut, Mills hangs and hits. Wow, that's where they need to go again. He's got a huge a size advantage. Uh, roll him to the post and then let him get down in the paint. And Chandler Jackson, the freshman, comes off the bench and goes underneath the screen, and Cormac Ryan is just hot. Great feed, Matthew Cleveland on the other end. Six and a half seconds to go. Into works. Up ahead. He over for Ryan. Florida State survives. Throw it up ahead, and that's just not a good pass in that situation. Credit Florida State for going to full court pressure. It bothered Notre Dame. Green way downtown. That's a for him. You see Darren Green stepping up from way downtown, knocking it down. Starting to flex his muscle, especially on the interior. Offensive rebound. Green doesn't need much of a look, does he? Just a tiny window. He can knock it down. He has been sizzling for FSU. And Darren Green's range knows. Yeah, get your seven foot four self back down in the paint. Green, shot clock winding down. He's in the box score. And that was a massive shot for him. Holman pulls it in. Surveys the landscape. Pass was tipped by Green. Mills up ahead to Green. And he'll lay it in. Bowman's pass was tipped. Mills up ahead. Collaborates with Green, who lays... Getting his opportunities on the court. His first time he's checking into the game. Leonard Hamilton recognizing there are going to be a lot of nerves yeah. for Miller in this one. And I know he has to be excited about being out here. Darren Green lines one up for three. Maybe call that four. Who was confident on the offensive end of the floor. Appleby attacking the basket. Green having no parts of that one. Coming up with a big block. 
Catch and shoot, Darren Green. He was out early this morning doing just that. He's got a sweet stroke. He can see which leg of the defender is up and drive the daggone ball. I don't want to see him settle. He's too talented of a player to settle. Big rejection by Darren Green. Doesn't get the roll again. He felt six foot ten corn on his yeah. hip. Yeah. Green on the baseline. Tough fall away. That is smooth, and Mike Bray needs a timeout. Good offensive rebounding and put back there. They just have to continue to control the pace of the game. This team struggles, but you got to find this guy. Green connects, and he's got a chance at four. And you got to find him. That's just too easy. His range is that far. You have to get out there. I think they were yelling at the guys. You got to know where he is. He shoots you from deep. And Missed opportunity there for the Seminoles. Pittsburgh running and gunning. Chaotic sequence, and nobody can find the bottom of the cup. Green settles it down. Over the last five minutes, and they've grabbed the lead here in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh outscoring Florida State 23-9 to in the second half. Green, back-to-back -back baskets for him as he tries to keep Florida State in it. He can shoot you back into a game quick. Omir down low, no. And the rebound to Green, the UCF transfer. Down low, and there is McLeod, who's been a bright spot in this first half. Making a difference on both ends of the floor, contesting the dunk opportunity. Oh, Mills in Tallahassee. Knowles on the rebound, Green, logo three, got it! Follow that up with a logo triple. The offensive rebound by another freshman. Green, pump fake, triple, air. With his second triple. Nice pump fake. Look at that beautiful stroke. Two on the shot clock. Good D. Seminoles had numbers. Green, transition three. Bang! Takes from beyond the arc. Defense. Leading to offense, Cleveland, Green, Sniper. Full court pass, Green, skying and scoring. What a pass. <laughs> Green with a dunk in transition. And also when you think about the style in which they play, when you're having six or seven guys that are playing 30 minutes plus per night, it makes it hard to maintain that style of play and that energy and effort. Off the steal, Darren Green. He's followed and learned from Dominique Wilkins, who was somebody who decades ago came back from that injury. And he said Edmund Sunders is another guy. Those three stars rarely rely in this season. Green hits the three. His second to triple, he's got six. And Syracuse with the lead for the first time in his second half. Gerard's got five threes. Green drops it off for Cleveland. Beautiful passing down low from Florida State. Big Jeff, or Jeff the second as he's known, was really inspired by the likes of John McClendon and others in that state. We could say this right now, Tom, that this Clemson team looks like a tournament team. I, I mean, that play, not so much. Tip pass finds its way to Green. Nothing falling. Madsen can't corral the rebound. Green able to keep it. Finally, something falls for Darren Green. Florida State quickly the other way. Maybe the final shot of our game. Green splashes a three. And Leonard Hamilton calls a timeout. Florida State ambushed from the get-go. Aaron Green launches and hits. They need that from him. Chin for a little extra. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to see what you come there, up with. There you go. When you say you and I, you mean you. <laughs> Green with a step back. Yes, he'll swish it in. If Matthew Cleveland was going to be a guy that ended up playing there, shows Florida State instead. Here's Green to launch. Yes, on target. And well off that three-point line. This, even though unexpected, Leonard Hamilton prepared for this. He's learned to prepare for any of the unexpected all season long. Green with a nifty hook pass. Darren Green Jr. attacking the basket. The nice find for Cam Corn, who finishes with authority. Does not subscribe to the take you out once you get two fouls. 
He'll play guys with even three fouls in the first half. Green stepping into a three and drills it.